Frank, I suppose a lot of you will recognize this brand alongside the beautiful cut designs on the screen, right? And last year, we even uh, released a Mobile Legends series for some of you serious gamers out there. So in fact, in Singapore, we are the only bank with such a wide variety of cut designs for our customers to choose from. And why do we do that? Um, one of the reasons is because we believe that banking should also be fun and vibrant. But the fact is, Frank is beyond just beautiful cut designs alone. Our main aim is to provide you with the best banking solutions tailored for the uh, use like yourselves. And our main goal aligns with our value to provide uh, you guys with simple, innovative, and honest solutions. So now back to the topic about uh, Frank Education Loan. You must be thinking, um, why should you be choosing uh, Frank Education Loan over uh, other products, right? So let me share with you some of the reasons why. So firstly, we have a very swift processing time. In fact, 95% of our loans are processed within uh, five working days or even faster in some cases. So for prospective students like yourself, after receiving your admissions to an overseas program, uh, the next key step will be to secure financing quickly, right? So that you can confirm your placing uh, with a peace of mind. And uh, you can rest assured that our team will be working relentlessly after your loan submission. All right, secondly, uh, we have very uh, flexible uh, payment options that can cater to your needs. And how flexible is that? We will share uh, with you shortly. Thirdly, uh, we, we, our loan terms are very competitive in the market with a high maximum loan amount and tenure that can cater to uh, the different causes that you're about to attend. Yeah. So as I was saying about our repayment options, uh, here are three of them. The first one from the top is the standard option when your uh, monthly repayment equals to the principal plus interest once your loan is dispersed. So if you think that it will be a little bit texting while you are studying, uh, you may consider uh, other options like option two and three. But option two, the graduated option means that you only pay interest while you study and uh, you convert to paying principal plus interest after graduation. Whereas in option three, in the graduated plus option, you pay only interest while studying up to a year after graduation. And subsequently, your uh, repayment plan will be converted into uh, principal plus interest. So all these different options are carefully designed and tailored to, uh, made, to be made available to all you participants, all you students, uh, to suit your uh, preferred payment method. And this is why our education loan is so popular among students. So adding on to some of our strengths, uh, we are densely located in Singapore with 38 branches island-wide, and uh, we are supported by professional loan ambassadors to provide you with uh, loan assistance and advice. If you prefer finding out uh, more information online, uh, you'll be surprised that our chatbot uh, that operates 24 seven will be able to answer many of your queries on the website. And lastly, going back to the uh, debit card that we shared earlier again, uh, by being one of our uh, education loan uh, takers, you will get to choose uh, one of your favorite uh, designs of the 60 designs that we have. And of course, uh, as part of having the card, you also get to enjoy rebates uh, on, your, on your spending as well. Yeah. So moving on to a little bit more, uh, share a bit more about the loan eligibility. For student applicants like yourself, uh, you will need to fulfill the, these criteria on the screen and also have a joint applicant with you as well. Uh, your total combined income should be at least 24,000 per year, right? But not to worry, uh, all these uh, details, uh, if, you, if you don't uh, remember them now, uh, all these are available on, on our website. Later on, I'll share with you a link to our website uh, where you can uh, take a look at this information in greater details. Okay, moving on to a little bit more about the documents that we need. Here are five main documents that will be needed as part of the application process. Uh, firstly, a, a copy of your NRIC. Uh, secondly, if, let's see your mailing address differs from your NRIC. You need to provide us with a recent bill or bank statement that states your mailing address. And thirdly, uh, you have some, we, we will need your income documents. And uh, fourth and fifth, uh, Will, will be coming from your school. Uh, firstly, is the acceptance letter as well as the schedule of payment. I know all this sounds like a lot to prepare now, but not to worry, okay? Because our loan ambassadors will be there to guide you and work with you to collect all these necessary uh, documents and information. And you also see a QR code uh, on, on the slide. So if you scan uh, the QR code, that will actually bring you to uh, our education loan website where you can uh, browse through uh, all the various information. So this QR code will be shared at the end as well. So no worries, you can scan uh, it later as well. 
So there are essentially two ways for you to submit uh, your loan application. Uh, the first way is to submit an online interest form and our loan ambassadors will contact you to understand your needs and, and provide you with uh, the various advice. Uh, secondly, you can either mail in to us or walk into one of our 38 branches uh, to ask more about education loan and our loan ambassadors uh, will be there to, to help you. And of course, in today's COVID climate, I, I would strongly suggest everyone to submit an online interest form and uh, make an appointment to speak with our uh, our loan ambassadors. Yeah, and of course, if you have any queries after, after today's session, uh, you may reach out to our loan ambassadors directly. Uh, here on the screen, we have Jimmy and Jared's number here. And alternatively, you may also drop us an email at studentstudyloan at ocbc.com. Uh, otherwise, uh, if you see the QR code here, feel free to go on to our website uh, to submit your interest form and uh, we'll be in touch with you as well. Yeah. So um, it's a pretty short sharing uh, because we want to cater more time for uh, some of the questions. So this sums up uh, the, the content that I'll be sharing today. And uh, I'll be taking uh, any questions that you may have now. Uh, so feel free to drop uh, any questions in the chat box here. Okay, give me a while. Let me just open up the chat. I think there are some questions in already. One second. Okay, so uh, I see some questions uh, asking about how much uh, is the processing fee. Okay, so the processing fee, uh, there will be a 2.5% uh, processing fee on, on, on the total approved loan amount, uh, subjected to a minimum processing fee of $100. Uh, for prepayment, uh, there will also be a prepayment, uh, if, if your prepayment refers to uh, paying a little bit earlier, yeah, so, let me check for you. Prepayment will be uh one percent of uh of, of the loan that you are prepaying. Yeah, the fees. I hope that answers your questions. Yeah, the second question that we have is uh, uh NBC loan. Uh, okay, it's referring to this uh this this like right the the the, the income. So uh, it's a total combined income of twenty four thousand. Yeah, so it's not just on a single person. Okay, we have another question about mode of payment. Uh, there are various mode of payments. Uh, can we use uh, CPF for payment? Uh, CPF for payment under this education plan is, uh, uh, under this education plan, uh, we can't use CPF for repayment. Yep, hope that answers your question. Mode of payment, uh, you can confirm this on the website. There are various mode of payments. I uh, can do a fund transfer as well. What is the best option for loan standard or the other two options? Yeah. Okay, one second. Okay, so back to this slide, right? Uh, there are three different payment options. Of course, uh, whether which one is the best definitely depends on uh, how you are going to, how, how comfortable are you paying while you are studying, right? Yeah, so if let's say you are comfortable with uh, paying the principal plus interest, then I was uh, doing as soon as your loan is dispersed, then the standard plan actually suits you the most. But of course, depending on your circumstances, sometimes uh, uh, while you're studying full-time, you may not be able to uh, 
pay for all the uh, all, all the principal while you're studying. So some of the, our applicants will opt to pay the interest first. Yeah, I hope that answers your question, Christine. Okay, if it has a question, the loan payment scheme illustrated is based on four years cost and total eight years repayment. If the cost is shorter, like two years, will the repayment period be four, four years? Yep, so the, the, the tenure of the loan is actually something that, uh, that, that can be discussed when you are sending the application. So I would suggest uh, for you to get in touch with our loan ambassadors and we will be able to provide you with more uh, advice as per your, um, your, your, your study period and, and your desired loan tenure. Anyway, uh, just a shout out to everyone. Uh, it is uh, when we see Josephine uh, replying to you. Uh, Josephine is actually uh, a colleague of mine. We are both from OCBC. So uh, you, can, you can also uh, refer to our answers in the chat as well. Yeah, she will be replying to some of you guys in the chat. Uh, I may have missed some of your questions, but I, I will try my best to look through all the questions and provide you with a reply. Yeah. Okay, the next question. Can student take loan in second or third year? Yeah, so feel free to uh, reach out to our loan ambassadors. So depending on your circumstances, our loan ambassador will be able to provide you with advice uh, even if you're in your second or third year. Uh, just feel free to send in the form and then uh, we'll be in contact with you. Yeah. All right, the next question, uh, must the main applicant be earning at the time of getting the loan? Yeah, so uh, back to this slide again about the, the application criteria, right? Uh, understand that as a student, you may not be uh, working or may not be having any income. So here we say total combined income. So as long as a joint applicant, uh, both of you combined earns more than 24K per year, uh, you will be eligible. Yeah. And what if the, the, the cost is more than uh, 150,000 in cost and more longer than four years? Yeah, and of course, uh, for different causes, we will definitely expect different, uh, different uh, cost fees as well as uh, different starting period, right? Yeah, not to worry so much about that. Uh, just make sure that uh, you you un you understand your uh, your your cost details, and then just share with our loan ambassadors. We will be able to provide you with uh, some. Uh, we'll be able to provide you with advice uh, pertaining to your uh, unique uh, scenario. Okay, feel free to drop in your questions. Uh, I believe we have the session until three. Yeah, so feel free to drop in your question. Uh, yeah, I, have, I see another question about cashier order. For cashier order, is there any fees? Yep, so for cash order, there will be a uh, $20 per cash order disbursement fee, yep. And of course, all this information uh, are available on our website. In any case, if you need to refer after this session, uh, you forgot about the fees, uh, how much it costs, and, and, and so on, feel free to scan this QR code or just type in uh, the URL shown on the screen. Uh, you will be able to find all this information in greater detail over there. Yeah, and of course, if you would like someone to speak to, uh, feel free to uh, reach out to Jimmy or Gerald or uh, also submit a form uh, through the website. Okay, hey, feel free to drop in more questions. There's one more here. Um, mm. So is education loan calculated as part of TDSR capped at 55%? Uh, it's not considered. Yeah. Hope they answer our questions, uh, Jano. Thank you. 
another one by Anne can apply hmm. to student loan for the same period. Okay, so the on the student loan, uh, if you if you if you need more uh, amount of money for your your uh, your course fees, yeah, uh, you may reach out to the loan ambassadors. I will, they will try to work something out for you. Yeah, so not to worry about that at this point in time. Yeah, so just reach out to us and then we will assess based on your situation. Yeah, hope that answer your question. And okay, so is there a maximum loan amount uh granted to each student? Okay, so that depends uh on on your uh. Uh, your income as well. Yep. So we'll make an assessment based on your income and of course on your on your course as well. Yeah. So so I uh, hope that answer your questions. Uh, the best way to do that is to reach out to us and we will have to assess based on your situation and uh, based on your course as well. Yeah. Okay. So I see another questions. Are there any fees for prepayment? Yes, there are fees for prepayment. Uh, is one percent of your uh, prepayment amount. Uh, to the rest, if you uh, if you if you don't have any questions now, uh, if you think happen to think of uh, some other questions later on, uh, feel free to drop by the the, the lounge. So I will still be available uh, until four o'clock uh, at the lounge. Yeah, so feel free to drop by there. Uh, you can ask me more questions. Uh, more, you can you can uh, we can have more discussions over there. Yeah. So. Mm. And for those who just joined, uh, uh, if you if you if you want to find out more information about the education loan, uh, feel free to scan on this QR code. Yep. Okay, I see another question. So, what is the advantage of uh, OCBC's uh, st student loan as compared to other bank? Okay, that's a very good question. So maybe I'll refer to some of the slides that I that I showed just now. Yeah. So uh, here are the first three reasons why uh, OCBC student loan is better. Uh, first of all, our, our sweet processing time. Uh, Ninety-five percent of our loans are processed within five working days, and uh, we think that this is essential because uh, you as a uh, as a student, you will you will need to uh, confirm your policy. You will need to confirm your financing as soon as possible. So you have a peace of mind, right? Yeah. So by having all these processed as soon as possible, as fast as possible. Uh, actually helps you uh, in your application process as well. Yep. Uh, okay. Uh, the next one is about flexible payment methods. Uh, we have three flexible payment methods. Uh, later on, I will just uh, briefly show you as well. Uh, next, we have competitive loan rates. So if you compare across the board, across the industry, uh, OCBC student loan, education loan, is actually one of the best rates out there. Yep. So uh, moving on to the Flexible repayment, uh, the repayment options. There are three that you can choose from. Firstly, the standard where you pay the principal and interest while your loan is dispersed. But of course, I uh, understand that if let's say this is a uh, too taxing uh, while you're studying, you can also opt to pay interest while you study and then uh, switch to paying principal plus interest after graduation. Yeah. Okay. And there's another plan called graduation plus. Uh, graduated plus, where you only pay interest while studying and also uh, continuously one year after you graduate, subsequently, and you start to pay principal plus interest. So this is the, this, all these different options is to cater to uh, the different scenarios and needs uh, of you guys. Yeah. And of course, ending on, uh, we have a very extensive network. If you go to many of the uh, land shopping malls, you'll be able to see uh, OCBC's uh, branch out there and you can feel free to reach out to us to ask more uh, about loans, about any other uh, banking product products as well. Yep. And not forgetting chatbot assistance and uh, the free debit card that we will be issuing out. Yeah. So upon student loan approval, would the funds be transferred? Uh, this is another question. Would the student would the funds be transferred to personal account or will it be a cash order pay, payable to overseas university? Uh, so most of the time it will be either um, cash order or you'll be in the form of TT, yeah, TT transfer, telegraphic transfer. Yeah, so it's usually not to your personal account. <clears throat> Hope that answer your question, Christine. Okay, there's another question about uh, payment. Will payment be made in 
whole lump sum or by per semester. So uh, that again depends on uh, your 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 schedule of payment that the, the school is uh, is issuing. I think different school has a different uh, different schedule of payment. So we will will the payment will be made as per as per that lah, based on assessment basis. Yeah. So uh, from 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 what I've seen, uh, usually it's by per semester, but depending on your school, it can be different as well. Yeah. Hope that answers your question, Kelly. Okay, I think if um, other students have any other questions, you can arrange a set up a meeting with Han, uh, and um, you can ask him ask him any queries that you have. But otherwise, um, you can also schedule an appointment with the counselors in the lounge, so they can help you with further inquiries. And I think uh, thank you so much, Han, for your um, presentation. It was really helpful. Okay, thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks everyone. Right. Uh, once again, feel free to scan the QR code, and uh, thank you for all for your time. All right, and everyone who wants to join the next webinar would need to exit this one and go to the main page and then join the next one uh, starting in four minutes. Okay, thanks, everyone. Okay, thanks, everyone. See you guys.